I think there's something really unique when you look at American architecture throughout the years. You get to see of different times and different uses from the ways that towns and cities used to operate. And for a long time, I've been fascinated by that, the, the role that those buildings play in a community and, and kind of the transitions that they go through, the multiple lives that every building lives, whether that's a house or a store, uh, or in this case, a gas station mechanic shop. My name is Elijah Knapp. I live here in Dayton, Kentucky, and I'm the co-founder of Elliott Coffee. I think coffee is one of the, what I would consider a, an approachable luxury. And I think too that these cafe spaces double as a community gathering space. There aren't very many places that you can walk into for a very low cost and spend an hour, two hours, three hours. The first building, the, the gas station building, was, was constructed in 1900 and served as one of the first gas stations in the area coming down the hill from Fort Thomas on your way to the bridge in Cincinnati. I had been looking for buildings in Northern Kentucky for probably about six months and found this building and immediately got out, took pictures and videos because I thought this is the, the perfect place to do something like what we're doing now. Kevin and Joe and the, the team behind the building have really helped bring this whole thing to, to life in an amazing way and really created a project that couldn't have been done solo. You know, it's something that we didn't have the means or even the knowledge to pull off. The Arden Company is about six years old and when COVID hit in 2020, we were only a couple years old. There were only three of us. Uh, we were still a startup company. We needed a place to work that had indoor and outdoor spaces and so we stumbled across the garage, purchased it, also started thinking about how to build bases for community. As part of that, we created The Garage, which was an event space that was easily rentable and affordable to rent during COVID when people needed to get out of their house or be outside to host gatherings and parties. And so we saw community was really being built here through that use. And the Arden Company really grew while we were here in the garage. And we outgrew the space. Ended up building out a new office, a bigger office. And as we were moving out, uh, we were thinking about what to do with the building once we're gone. And we met Elijah. And they fell in love with the building. And we really liked the idea of a coffee concept. Uh, it's an adaptive reuse. And so to take a, what is a relatively small project and invest a little bit of love back into it and for a relatively small amount of investment and energy, you're all of a sudden getting hundreds of new people experiencing the neighborhood. What that does is has a trickle effect up and down the street where those new customers, those new people experiencing the neighborhood all of a sudden go down the street and experience other businesses in the neighborhood or think about renting an apartment here or think about buying a house here. You know, there's such a there's such a small town charm here, even though you're right next to the big city and you're right on the Ohio River. And I'm excited to see how the garage and, and the Elliott team really helped bring that to life for, for Dayton. My hope for Elliott is that it will be a space that serves as a, a foundation of fond memories for all sorts of folks, just for their, their ordinary days, their normal life. And I think we're already seeing that come, come to be. 